Not in my neighborhood. Residents living near a homeless services center in Santa Ana want it gone. Yeah, today they took their fight to the Orange County Board of Supervisors. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely has reaction from both sides and the final decision on what's next. I'm just tired, tired of the ugliness that my grandkids have to see. Martha Alarcon works with students at Santa Ana's Monroe Elementary School. She wants the county funded drop in center in her neighborhood that serves the mentally ill homeless population shut down. David Ball is another resident who agrees. Our children deserve to grow up in an area that does not have needles on the ground. They deserve to walk on clean sidewalks without feces and not to have to scan the area for transients before playing in the park. Dozens of people who live and work near the Mental Health Association Service Center on South Main Street spoke at the Orange County Board of Supervisors meeting. The facility is one of a kind and provides support for adults who need housing and jobs, a place to shower, do laundry and use a phone. Many hope the contract would not be renewed, which is what lifelong Santa Ana resident and supervisor Vince Sarmiento proposed. I completely understand the desire and the need, but unfortunately, um, that placement and that location, we really don't know whether it's become a magnet to draw people there or whether that population already existed. That's really the challenge for us to understand. Santa Ana City Council members are among those who feel that the city has long served the needs of the homeless. Now they say it's time for other cities to step up and find a place for such facilities. As I held up in uh, a picture in the meeting, you have indecent exposure. You have kids that are going to elementary and junior high schools that are seeing folks acting erratic and dangerously. And that's not something that children in other parts of our county uh, face every day, but those in Santa Ana particularly those right near that facility, they do face that and it's not something that should continue. On a vote of three to two, the board decided to renew the contract. But if the service center is not relocated within a year, the contract is terminated. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, KCAL News.